G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here at the Smart Energy Council's Expo and Conference in Sydney with Joel from Redback. Hey, <laughs> Joel. Hey, how you doing, Glenn? We're a regular gig here, aren't we? We are, mate. We see each other around the, the traps all the time. And we're neighbours again. Absolutely, again. <laughs> Third or fourth year in a row. <laughs> it's great. And uh, this tried and trusted unit has yes. got bigger. It has, it has. So it's, this may look like our uh, single phase five kilowatt inverter, but in fact, this is our three phase 10 kilowatt inverter. Wow. So uh, a bit bigger and uh, uh, with the capabilities of capacity expanding on a single unit up to uh, 28 kilowatt hours. So. So the battery modules here, this yes. cabinet can take how much? Uh, 14 kilowatt hours. But you can have two cabinets. Two cabinets, so absolutely. put another one side by side. Correct, yeah. To get, get us up to 28 kilowatt hours. Correct, yeah. Wow, that's, yeah. that's cool. And, uh, and well, you, you know what, we can take that a step further. We now have a special software um, uh, management system, which we're calling Site Manager, uh -huh. which will then allow us to step up to three of these systems operating in parallel. Okay, let me get that into my head. So yep. Site Manager is software. Software, yeah. It uses the existing products, yep. but makes them into one virtual product. Correct, absolutely. It, it, it aggregates all the, all the data, the capacity, the PV into one monitoring platform and a management system. So that means that um, you can have multiple um, uh, strings connected to your individual inverters, and if one string or one system just so happens to be producing more power than the others, it'll evenly distribute that energy or power that it's being produced across the batteries in the multiple systems in the network. Right, so you won't have uh, one battery going completely empty while the others are Correct. full and can't be charged. Correct, it'll even them out, even the state of charge out across all the units, and it'll drop in and rise at them as required based on the demand on site, based on the solar available, and, and that, sort of, uh, that sort of operating methodology. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, I believe you've got a, a little project you've been working on for a while here, the uh, string inverters. The string inverters, we do have string inverters. Should we head over? Let's go and head over. Awesome. So, Joel, um, this has been, um, told us your baby. Yes, little baby here. Yeah. Um, so, this is our string inverter. Um, this one particularly is our five kilowatt. Um, uh, it, uh, again, similar to what standard string time inverters would do, connect to the grid, take that PV and, and distribute in the house or directly out to the grid. But um, with our particular feature, uh, our product here, um, we've got a new little feature that is included in every box, which is our smart load control. Okay, so what is a smart load control? So a smart load control is a special relay or control that will operate based on measurements that our system can take. So based on what can be exported to the grid or imported from the grid, we can turn this relay off and on based on that. What would you use that for? So uh, for a, if a customer is interested in, in better utilising, um, say, a load in the house, like their hot water system or a pool pump or an EV car charger, we can turn them on based on uh, available energy that would normally be sold back to the grid at a low price. It can be then utilised with these loads inside the house um, and, and, not, and I guess essentially the customer won't lose that money. They, they are the consumer. So let's just think about the application. So it's a five kilowatt AC output. Yes. How much PV can you put on this? So you can size this um, uh, in many different ways. Um, uh, again, with your standard uh, 1.33 multiplier that we see that's available for the claiming of the SDCs. Again, if batteries are connected on site, then you can oversize that. Um, we do allow that to go up to, I think it's around about the eight kilowatt mark. Um, again, just check the data sheet, so it can be oversized quite, quite reasonably. But this is our five kilowatt in our single phase range, and it, we have our five, six, eight, and ten kilowatt. Right. Yeah. I'm amazed how small this unit is. So. Oh, tiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You pack a lot into the small thing. So let's just take a scenario. A customer uh, works during the day, so he's not at home, yep. and they've got 6.6 .6 kilowatts of PV on the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a battery, but they have this, uh, what are we calling this model? Uh, the SI, the Smart Inverter. The Smart Inverter. Yep. Using the smart meter and the relay, yep. it can then see that you're about to export basically all your power to to the to the utility for yep. next to nothing. Yep. Right? And it will switch on something. Yes, we can switch on a load that you connect to that relay. Yep. Like a hot water. So it essentially becomes an, a battery. You can store that energy in another format, like in, in the in the form of hot water. <laughs> Um, or in your EV, if you're charging your EV, or again running your pool pump. So you, you get some extra work out of this, and uh, and and then those the loads aren't consuming power from the grid at night. Yeah, you, you mentioned the hot water service as a battery. I, it's an analogy I give all the time. That's brilliant. Because yeah. it's the load that you use every day, yeah. and it's uh, basically you know, 10 to 15 kilowatt hours of 
You know, depending on where you are and how, yeah. how long your hair is, apparently, it makes a big difference how much hot water you use. Absolutely. Um, so you won't use much. <laughs> but if you've got some girls in the house, they, they can go up quite a lot. Absolutely. But, but that, that's storing that energy which would otherwise be used from grid power. So mm -hmm. you are using it as a battery. Yes, just a thermal battery. Exactly. I like it. And I think I actually got the idea from you. So <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> So this is the, the, the 5 kilowatt unit, yeah. how big's the 10? The 10 is a little bit deeper, um, so uh, around about the same width, but it's just a bit deeper. So it looks similar. Yeah, same colour, same screen, um, same sort of uh, uh, structure at the front here, but just deeper. Yeah. So along the bottom here, you've got the usual connection points. So you've got, this one has, what, uh, two a, MPPTs? Two MPPTs, And yeah. we've got a uh, AC port. Yep. And what's this red back unit? Uh, so that's our um, Wi-Fi connection to module. Wow. Um, so it can connect via Wi-Fi. We do have a hardwired module as well, so that just gets replaced with a, the uh, uh, hardwired module. So, so you can do like an Ethernet hardwired or Wi-Fi. Yes. Depending on which module you put on the bottom here. Yes. I'm liking it. That's, yeah. that's a great choice because not, you know, Wi-Fi, eh, it kind of works, but now until someone changes the password. Exactly. <laughs> it all moves it and then all of a sudden you don't have the reception anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there'll be connections for the relay and for the uh, AC port. So what's really, uh, really cool about this smart relay is that it taps into our smart meter. So you just run the single comms cable from this to the switchboard, yes. and you can come out of our little relay that's yeah, part that's of it. It's up here. Exactly, yeah. So it's different. It's not an extra cable that you have to run. You already have to run the cable to the smart meter and the switchboard. This is just uh, just piggybacks off what's already there. Right, because the power is here yes. in the switchboard where the meter is. Exactly. That's very clever. So it comes it comes stock standard with our uh, each of our models, so yep. it's no, no extra cost. Um, and uh, a lot of guys are using it as an upsell. So they can sell and uh, install this and then upsell this functionality which comes included in these boxes. So you're also getting whole of house consumption monitoring. Absolutely. Right. Yep. No extra cost, it's no extra device that you need to purchase, it comes in every box that you purchase with this. Cool. Well, uh, uh, lord your efforts in producing an incredibly compact and powerful inverter. Thank you. Wow. Thanks a lot. It. Thanks, man. Okay. See you, Joel. See you, mate.